Hey, what's going on? This is your host, Solo Mission, back on here. Let's go and dive in. Of course, you can follow me on this platform. I want to thank all the new recent subscribers that I see that this channel page has achieved. You can also follow me on other social media platforms as well. This is a part of my On The Air series, which has kicked off on the Patreon platform. I'm just on the YouTube as well. You can also follow me on the Facebook page. The link of that is in the comments. Let's go and move forward here. Track one, women's survival tactics. Now, women would do any and everything under the goddamn sun. And the number one thing they're going to do to any guy that's walking this planet is lie. So any man that's walking this planet should automatically assume that everything that come out of a woman's mouth is a goddamn lie. I'm not fucking lie. I work two jobs. Lie. I have my own place. Lie. I don't have number one baby daddy. Lie. Everything that bitch tells your ass is a lie. I'm celibate. Oh, the classic shit. I'm on my cycle. Okay, I'm done with that shit. Let's move the fuck forward here. I don't got time for that dumb shit. A woman's survival tactic is to lie. Especially African American women. And I say it like that because, you know, African American women love to lie. They love to say the dumb shit about how they can't find a good African American man, how all African American men are dogs. We thugs, we hood, we this, so on and so forth. And how they tell their girlfriends that they would never swirl. But those be the main ones swirling, right? Right. <laughs> We know women are known to get their pay to play on, but they will lie and say they don't. We know they like to fuck outside of their race and say they don't. So we know this shit. We know they have kids out of wedlock. They love the goddamn daddy government. We know this shit. Let's move forward. The survival tactic of a woman is to give the impression that she's an innocent good girl to reel any guy in any suitable mate is what she wants she meets guys every day but she's looking for that suitable one that she can hope to manipulate eventually because they all feel that if they give you the pussy and do new tricks then you will stay at least they hope you will most of these women around here get pregnant and have all these kids out of wedlock hoping that that guy stayed that got them pregnant. Oh, what a trap. <laughs> the fuck? It's real. And then when the guy don't stay, then they got here to prey on the next man. Of course they're going to swirl. Why not? To them, it's just new dick in their pussy. But see, oh, if they meet the guy that they're swirling with that's higher status and they can pop that pussy for that guy oh yeah that's a win-win if he's choose to stick around and deal with their bullshit only thing they did was pop pussy from which that's nothing new to them it's a survival tactic if I pop this pussy on him he will stay and deal with my bullshit he will treat me special he will handle my baggage. He will be a stepfather to my kids. So on and so forth. See, women's end game is real simple. They hoping you fall in love with that coochie before it metaphorically and literally hit the wall. My visual is a nursing home wheelchair. <laughs> real shit. Because those women in the nursing home are not poppy no pussy. Pussy is not on their mind now. Far from it. In the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and 50s, for all these women that still look like barber dolls in their late 50s and 60s and shit, popping that coochie is still an option. They can reel a man in with that. They don't have to cook, they don't have to clean, they don't have to drive, they don't have to work, they don't have to do nothing. See, women ask, what do a man bring to the table? But when a man asks a woman, what do she bring to the table? 
that bitch get quickly offended. Bitch is so goddamn quick to confuse their responsibilities with what their actual accomplishments and achievements are. They survival tactics is real goddamn simple. They looking for a simp that they can sweep and finesse off his feet. They love to trap a guy. That's the ultimate shit because if they can get you to bust a nut in their pussy, well, they got child support. If you can marry their ass, then they got you for alimony because they not going to get married again. Oh, no. <laughs> Why do that? Ask any professional actor, rapper, sports player that get pimped by these hoes. <laughs> You look at the simp, Russell Wilson, you know, the football fucker, and you see Sierra, prime example of a thought gold mine. Future, the rapper, fucked her very quickly and got her ass pregnant. But what did she do? She finessed this shit and met Russell Wilson's simp ass and told him what he was going to do. You're going to wait for this pussy. You're going to marry me. You're going to get me a baseball team. You're going to make the fuck. And like a simp, he falls right on in line. They call this motherfucking category the educated lame category. E.L. <laughs> There's a lot of E.L.s out there. But this is a part of a woman's finesse game. And it's a part of her survival tactic. See, if she get played by one guy, she learned from her mistakes, even though she did some thought ass, whole ass shit. I mean, it is HIV and AIDS out there. But did she give a fuck? No. And not many women do. All right. And then they go find another guy, whether in their race or outside of their race, and do the same shit. You see how quickly she got pregnant with child, right? All right. So she got Future's child and she got Russell's child. And if, I shouldn't say if, when she breaks it off with his ass, then of course, chick Chin, she's going to get half. Y'all get that shit written down, man. Now that's just your sports figures, but in real life, it's a lot of divorced men listen to this motherfucking shit here. And they know it to be true. See, women not going to get married quickly once they get a divorce. They didn't want to get married in the fucking first place. That was the fairy tale. Somewhat trap and set up. Men should understand that game now with this MGTOW shit. We're not falling for the traps. Women's survival tactics is to get whatever they can get off your ass and the system without doing minimum effort, period. They classic gamers with that shit. It's chess, not checkers to these hoes. See, men continue to fall for that hole between their legs, lay in the bed with these bitches and put your whole life at risk for HIV, AIDS, STDs and unwanted pregnancies. <laughs> Let's keep it real with this bitch here. A women's survival tactic is ever changing. Based on the current situation, these hoes as a survivor tactic go on all these social media sites, go live and ask dudes to donate money. And they do just because she flashed some titties. She's walking around in a bathing suit, et cetera, et cetera. And she ain't did shit for these guys. Oh, that's cold. That's clever. But why are the simp ass motherfucking dudes doing this shit? As men, we got to shape up and stop that fuck shit. We can't be giving these hoes free attention. We damn sure can't give these hoes no money. And they ain't earned shit. Fuck out of here. Fuck you mean. Is what I'm saying. See, the game is ever changing and the women are always a step ahead. They survival instincts tell them they must be or they will be extinct. As men, we control the goddamn chessboard, but we let the women continue to make the moves before we do. We got to stop that fuck shit. You feel me? This is track one. Stay tuned.
to track two. It's your boy, Solo Mission. <laughs>